Welcome to the History Hunter and our small adventures with the World War II time frame. Uh, it's all about the World War II time frame, the events, the locations, relics, artifacts. And today you're going to join me and my daughter in a very special sort of video. We are visiting the uh, Reitanspur, which is one of the most important strategic stronghold points in the last days of the Second World War. Briefly told, uh, Polish border is on the other side of that uh, ridge there. Um, the um, Soviet army, led by General Shukov, was storming in this Uderbruch area. And uh, you have um, Silo Heights up in that direction, and this is the flatland in between, and the Soviets had to pass that. So the uh, Germans were dug in on the hill. The Soviets wanted that hill, fierce fighting back and forth. You have General Shukov's stronghold point on the top there. We're going to visit that. We're going to show you some uh, drone uh, footage and uh, we're going to show you some small features over there in the right Rhine city, especially the uh, church there, was, which was demolished and totally bombed by the Soviets. This would be one of the typical roads that you will see that the Soviets and the Germans would transport their troops along. This is a path or earlier road next to the field. And the right line spur is up there. Looks like in total jungle mess up there. So we'll see if we can find a very easy spot up. Just a small detour on the way up to the Sukha bunker, Stulo Kirche. This is a church that was almost totally destroyed when the Soviets put their artillery against this small city of uh, Reitwein and uh, a lot of horror histories regarding what happened actually here specifically at this church and uh, well it's just tragic so we're gonna go up here the church is up there we're gonna have a few small looks at that spot this beautiful church here was totally demolished by the Soviets. I think that some of this has been restored. Look at that beautiful tower up there with this clock and the cross on the top there. Very nice. But uh, something special about this church and we're going to show you that. When you look at this part, it actually looks like a usable church. But then you come to this side. I'll show you something here. I've got the damages on the wall there. That is shrapnel and firing of small arms towards the church. The Soviets, they actually really made a rampage when they went over here. And you can see suddenly it's not a normal church. Um, I'll show you something inside here. Very, very sad. This could have been a very, very nice sort of place, but look at that. That is what it is today. It's just some ruins. Let me put that camera through here. This is how it looks today. And this is the result of war. It's just a ruin, but it's probably used for some sort of uh, ceremonies here as a symbolic sort of thing. You can actually see where the stairs came through the wall here onto the second floor and into that opening and it probably had a roof which it doesn't have now. So up here is the right French spur. The uh, right one city was between Silo and uh, the Soviets, so this is right in the path and this is what happened. The church was totally demolished, it burned and it was, look at that, hundreds, probably thousands of impact wounds on that wall, low or high, it's everywhere. Also on this side. You see the impact holes everywhere, probably shrapnel, but also 
maybe small firearms, maybe the Germans hid in this sort of church and then the Soviets wanted them very, very badly. It's too bad to see such a beautiful construction being there, just the ruin, but uh, that's how they wanted to let it stay, as a memory of what happened here. Quite interesting to think that there were so many thousand soldiers fighting for this small hill, all for just one thing, to be the masters of the height. And uh, Shuko definitely won, and he put up his command post up there. But I wonder how many people had to die to make that post up there. It's sound post posted, the sign posted quite good. About 900 meters going this way. This is a forest road. I would have been there in that time as well. That is from one ort or start or city to another. Now this is the old way of transporting yourself back and forth from uh, or in the area. So everywhere where you look, on the bottom here of White Ranch Spur, there are bomb craters and foxholes and positions. Absolutely amazing. There is a small foxhole, and further up there are some huge craters. Absolutely amazing. So now it turns up towards the top, and we now have about half a kilometer to climb up to the top. And let's hope that we can show you some very nice images of uh, Shukov's command position on the final days of the World War II on his quest to get to Berlin first. That's a crater, that's a crater, that's a crater, that's a crater, impact crater of mortar or artillery fire absolutely everywhere as you walk towards the top point of the Shukov position. Here's an informative poster. You can see actually a lot of information and uh, actually some pictures of the yeah. digging crew themselves. Amazing. As you saw from one of the pictures, there are lots of entrances here. The whole hill was perforated with uh, different kinds of openings and they made it so quickly that it actually fell apart several times. It f people were trapped inside when they built it, but uh, this is one of the openings. This was actually rebuilt, so this is not the original one. The opening itself is actually closed off with some heavy duty wood things, but this is just for you to see how the actual opening of the bunker was. The whole hillside here was filled with openings. Several of these sort of tracks up here were actual openings. They have long gone buried. This was an opening up here. It's amazing. And uh, today there's absolutely nothing to see actually. Uh, you would sort of wonder that you can come here and there would be lots of entrances to go into, but it's not. This is one of the openings. It's shut, dug shut, because that, that was what they did after the war. They were so fed up with that, so they just closed it. And it was the Soviets that came here and they decided what to do with it. So that was some of the openings on the sides here. You can see, I think there's a lot of openings into the mountainside here. There were some tunnels and there was a picture of how big it was. It's amazing to see how many things have been totally devastated by artillery shells here. 
but we're gonna go up to the top where his actual sort of lookout point was and we're gonna have a look at that here you can see that the way of doing this you can see this huge metal that we have found these these were used to stack the um, the wood together make very heavy thick roofing with those several layers here begins the original lauf carbon then um yeah uh, yeah all right here is where the original trenches running trenches were made you can see the formation here that was made from that time these steps are put in here later for, for ease to get up there but we were actually walking in the original area where they had the running trenches made and uh, it's quite impressive to see what they did in such a short time building this thing and using this area so this is the original running trenches leading up to Chukov's vantage point so here we are here we got Chukov's vantage point he ordered a lot of these trees to be removed and they did very rapidly and if these trees wouldn't have been here you can easily see all the way up to Silo from this place and this is where he started strategies of the getting Silo first and then um, going all the way to Berlin So that was right one spur for you and uh, Shukov's bunker and lookout position as I said almost one of the most important strategic locations ever been in a World War II uh, battlefield situation I have to say it's it's been interesting very very interesting to to do this and I'm so honored to be able to do it with my daughter really appreciate that and of course I'm really honored to be able to share this with all of you viewers hope you enjoyed it my pleasure to bring you this uh, some of you will never have the chance to see things like that so I think it's a good thing to to be able to share it with you so all I have to say now is thanks for watching this video or my other videos feel free to look at any of my material I think you'll find a lot of uh, nice videos there to look at and um, me and my daughter will definitely see you later so until next time keep watching keep smiling see you later